Hi, this is Naomi Nye. And my name is Omniscient, and we welcome you to another Teen Rockstar Entrepreneur episode. Hi, we're Teen Rockstar Entrepreneur. I'm Naomi Nye. My name is Omniscient, and we are in Miami, Florida. To be specific, the route at Good Tone Studios, where we're going to see Docs, Esteban Huerta, owner, producer, engineer. Let's go in, ask him some questions. I feel like I remember things that never happened. It's like the matrix when I'm rapping. Love the money that I'm grabbing with the salmon salad. Miami, the Puerto Rico, and the Cayman Islands. And this is more. We're here at Good Tone Studios with Esteban Dax. Dax. 305. Docs 305, if you need to look at him anywhere. Uh, studio owner, uh, producer, yeah. engineer, humanitarian, flower guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? What else? <laughs> what, what, what got, yeah. Husband. 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 You know what I mean? Um, I guess we'll start it off so the people know who you are. What, what made you get here to this point where you're owning your own studio and music has become basically what you do? Well, music was always my go-to, always since young. Um, if anything, I should have gotten on it when I was younger, but um, once I started like the real life and started working, um, real job, I was really miserable, successful, but miserable. <laughs> and, you know, I, I just realized that it wasn't what I wanted to do. I was good at it, but it wasn't really me. Um, and at one point, you know, I just took the chance and let it go and embraced music 100%. And you know what, nine years later, here we are. Beautiful, I mean, it's a beautiful story. Um, you and your wife are business partners. Yeah. Um, Good Tone Studios is a place that when I'm in Miami, I'm recording at. Um, it's a great spot, but you know, there's things that, that build people, that build a woman, that build a man that comes in the early stage. Maybe Naomi yes. has something she wants to ask. Yeah, so my question to you is when you were a teenager, when you were growing up, since you talked about, you know, doing things that, you know, you didn't want to do, you had a job, you weren't happy, stuff like that, that, that usually stems from our early years. What, what was your biggest problem or like challenge or struggle when you were like a teenager or growing up? The biggest challenge growing up was being told you couldn't do it. Like, don't chase your dream. Um, you know, it's not worth chasing your dream. You're better off going uh, and go work and make some money because you're not going to make it, you know? So I kind of got wrapped up in that mindset for a little bit. And um, I, I I was making music as a teen, and, that, and it kind of, like, was a hard thing to do when I had to stop and work. And I realized that, you know, a few years down the line that it was – big mistake that I had done yeah so what would you say to all the teens that are out there listening like what piece of advice would you give them knowing what you know now being going with everything that you've gone through in your life getting you to where you are here today like what would you tell them or what would you tell your younger self I would say don't give up um you know be confident in yourself that's really like the most important thing um believe in you Believe in yourself, believe that you could do it, uh, and just go out there and do it. Don't even think about it. Just go out there and do it, you know? Uh, that's pretty much what's gonna make it manifest. They say do it all. They say do it all. Life is in your hands. Not in no other man's. Society's full of scams. Be lucky you getting verses like Pearl Jam. Peanut with no jam. Boom back with veggies in the hand. <laughs> yeah. It's just the man I am.